This morning, a high school senior sat attentively in a Chicago classroom while this country held her college dreams hostage. This morning, a fourth year medical student started her rotation as an aspiring thoracic surgeon in Cambridge while this country took her talent for granted. This morning, an enlisted soldier living in Queens eagerly awaited his basic training assignment while his country shrugged their shoulders at his service. This morning, 800,000 young men and women woke up, offered a brave smile to their loved ones, and sought to better the only home they have ever known. You can call them dreamers, you can call them immigrants, you can call them Americans, you can call them husbands, wives, sons, daughters, neighbors, doctors, students, servicemen and women. You can call them human beings who deserve to live in a place that they call home, whose lives shouldn't be horse traded for big walls and petty tweets and bad campaign ads, who have offered us their talent, their tirelessness, their ingenuity, their empathy, their loyalty, and their patriotism, who have earned their government's protection in return. We, we gave those 800,000 human beings our word. And if those of us here in this room who have the incredible privilege of serving in these halls, bestowed with the title representative, if we aren't willing to defend the American word and make sure that it still means something, then who will?